Trying to make his way atop the ambulance. A dangerous position to be in. He doesn't have a lot. No, 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 no. Through the air and connect. Word life, it's me, John Cena. Scubba the boo. Pretty sure that's what is being said. Never give up. I, I, I gotta be honest with you guys, it's not John Cena, it's me, Reaps, and I went hands on with WWE 2K24 at the 2K offices here in Sydney, Australia, and now we can finally post exactly what we did. So let's give a round of applause. Also, they gave me this stuff, so I feel like I need to, to wear it, to rep it, to show you guys uh, just how, how cool I really am. Uh-huh. I'm gonna give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm not holding back. These are gonna be my honest views of exactly what's going on. I must put a disclaimer here that this is not the finished build of the game. And of course, they're still tweaking it, making sure that everything is good. You may be wondering about the superstar ratings. I can't tell you anything, but I'm sure you can guess who is number one in the ratings. I don't wanna give anything away. Their name starts with an R. It's our truth. There's also new mechanics in the game, like the trading blows mechanics and super finishes. I am gonna let you know I didn't hit a super finisher. I didn't know how to hit a super finisher. I even looked in the controls to be like, how do I hit a super And I, I didn't know. So anyway, let's start off with Backstage Brawl. If you don't know what a Backstage Brawl is, you win the game by KOing your opponent. No, I'm not talking Kevin Owens. I'm talking knocking out your opponent. Backstage Brawl is now with four people. So you can do big old couch co-op parties and online and stuff like that. And it's basically a backstage area, pretty big and also got two levels. You can take the lift or the elevator, as you may say, up to the second level. Also, there was this huge spotlight that I just wanted to throw somebody into, but I couldn't because I'm dumb. I don't know how to do that stuff. What I did do is throw a soda can. Oh, and that's a new mechanic as well. You can throw weapons in this game, which is long overdue in my books. I'm sure you guys are gonna come with some crazy ideas of like, I won a game just by throwing a chair, whatever it is. In the backstage area, they've got cars. They've obviously got the vending machine. They've got the raw backstage area where they do the interviews, everything like that. There was also this big old, space to the left, which I thought I could run through. I even tried whipping somebody into there, but it wouldn't let me. I think we're just confined to that area, but who knows, maybe that'll change. And I'm sure you guys are gonna find a lot more than I did. I'm pretty dumb, I'm pretty stupid when it comes to, to playing video games these days, but it was a lot of fun. Now let's move on to a new match type, which was made specifically for this game. It is the ambulance match mode. Very simple, no disqualification, just anything hardcore type match where you've got to beat down your opponent until they're weak and then you throw them into the ambulance or you can carry them as well and you can either whip or throw them into the ambulance and got to shut both doors first door you shut it's a lot simpler than the second door it's a button mashing game you'll see a corresponding button at the bottom you got to hit it it'll change the button you got to hit the new button is that type of flow if you're into button mashing you will love this the second door is always harder because obviously you're closer to the end of winning the match so why would they make it easier i legitimately have to tell you that it took me like a minute of fighting with uh, i believe it was kofi kingston a minute of mashing buttons and i still couldn't win because i'm guessing they weren't down far enough on their health meter so i'm sure this would be better maybe when you're versing a friend that'll be a lot more fun because you can you know try and mess with their controller and stuff. If this match is available online, I'm not sure how people will take it because it will come down to your internet speed. I was hoping there would be more you could do with the ambulance. Like you can climb up to the top, you can do a jump, you can obviously hit them into the ambulance, but I was hoping for something a bit more. Maybe take out a gurney, strap them to a gurney, flip them over, maybe even drive the ambulance. I know that's too much, but you know, this is my brain. You'll play it for like maybe two or three matches and then you'll be like, okay, I, I think I've got everything that I can out of it, but hopefully they add more. It's rife with potential. But it was fun, obviously, that they've included a new game mode on top of everything else. But what I can say is you've got the trading blow mechanic which is basically, it'll put you into a mini game against your opponent, you'll see a little circle, and you've got to hit the corresponding button within the green meter. If you do that successfully, you'll go back to the other opponent, they've got to do it, and then the meter gets smaller and smaller and smaller until you miss it or they miss it, and then you've won that kind of uh, trading blows mini game. Now, there's also like a gold meter that pops up, and if you can get it within that sweet, sweet sliver, of a gold meter, you win the mini game automatically. So that's pretty good. So I was just editing this and the audio cut out halfway through. So 
Let's do this again. Onto my favorite game mode each and every year, and that is the showcase mode. Instead of it being about one person, it is now about it being 40 years of WrestleMania, which is so cool. I can only tell you about three of these matches. There's Rick Rude versus Ultimate Warrior at WrestleMania 5. There's Rhea Ripley versus Charlotte at 39. And of course, Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns at 39 as well. I'm a big nostalgia freak and I love this. They present it as like a documentary. I can't show you the preamble or the post-amble if that's a word, but they give you a big kind of history lesson before going into the match so you see its relevancy. They've also got this amazing thing called like a slingshot mode. So it goes from the game footage and morphs into the actual footage of the event. And then it morphs from the actual footage into the game footage again. It is so dope. I love this. You'll also notice that there's like an undercurrent of epic music as you play, trying to make it seem like it is in this documentary world. If you look at WrestleMania 5 compared to WrestleMania 39, WrestleMania 5 is a lot more smoky. Like back in the day, there's not a thousand lights shining on you. While 39 seems sharp, it seems high definition with the 4K, 8K cameras. They've done such a great job in personalizing each of the decades and experiences. Onto the not so great stuff for me. I really want them to fix the objective mode. If you've got 20 objectives and you get to objective 19 and foul that through a submission or a pin or whatever it is, you've got to go all the way back to the start of the match and do all the previous objectives, see all the previous footage, see all the previous slingshots, and it kind of ruins the flow because then you're like, I've seen all this, I'm just grinding at the moment. If you're a game grinder like that, then this is dope for you. But for me, I want that option of like, would you like to try this objective again? Yes, or would you like to start from the beginning? No. A very small thing, the objectives do tell you what to do, they do tell you how to do certain moves, but sometimes they just say the name of the move and don't tell you how to do it in the objective. So you go into the controls and you're trying to find it and, for me, this was my favorite bit of the whole presentation and the hands-on look at WWE 2K24. I am really excited for this game. They have kind of fused the sim aspect with the arcade aspect really, really well, where basically if you choose a game type, you know what you're in for. Showcase, you're going for sim mode. If you go for backstage brawl or ambulance, you're going for arcade. And this is the best fusion I've seen so far in the WWE 2K games. This is a thumbs up at the moment with the game. It seems very polished for what it is and they still have, what, two months or so to get everything sorted before they release it to the public. I'm amped, I am so amped for this. If you want more, please feel free to like, subscribe, and let me know that you like this wrestling stuff because next time you see me, chances are it's gonna be a vlog of me going to WWE Elimination Chamber in Perth. So until then, peace.